Nerny sending one forward to Keeley. Keeley looks onside. Keeley is onside. And Keeley in off the post scores for Haven. And the Hawks take the lead. 16, 70 minutes, I should say, on the clock. Lost it over Jock. Callum Keeley absolutely miles onside despite any complaints from those behind the Chelsea goal. The Hawks have taken the lead at home. 1 0. Callum Keeley's second goal of the season. Hawks first of the night. again and it's Harvey Bradbury this time Harvey Bradbury lays it square Ryan Seager doubles it Ryan Seager with the Hawks second and you'd imagine now that is very much in the Hawks control 2-0 to the Hawks two goals in the end towards the end of this game Harvey Bradbury fantastic vision to pick out Ryan Seager and with just 11 minutes left to play it is very much the Hawks to lose now Alex Swan goes down under a challenge but gets back to his feet and can maintain the possession. Swan delivers across the face of goal. Bradbury! Harvey Bradbury makes it three and in the 90th minute that is surely three goals to the Hawks and three points to the Hawks. What a way to spend the Wesley Park Wednesday. And Harvey Bradbury has a goal. Not only did he have an involvement in the second, he now has a third of his own. Fantastic from the Hawks number seven.
Marcus. Come on, come on.
Flanagan slips over shots for a handball as the ball finds the back of the net. Leon Lobjoit scores the opening goal of the game after two minutes. Straight past Dan Platt into the net and it tails Owen Neil Bedford 1. Mitchell will chase and launch it and hook it clear as well as T loses out and the ball headed back in towards the penalty area fired in. And Ryan Blake makes it 2. 41 minutes. And it's Ryan Blake who fires the ball into the net and Hales own find themselves 2-0 down. Thrown back by Cassidy to T. Quickly onto his right foot, shifting the ball in towards the box. Yusuf with the header! Adi Yusuf starts his goal campaign in the season and gets Hales own right back into the game. Off the bench and onto the score sheet and Adi Yusuf makes it Hales own 1, Bedford 2. Just stops and turns, plays back to Kelly under pressure. First time clearance away, only as far as Gucci. Slips the ball forward to the edge of the box. Simmons now plays the ball down the line. Blake inside the two-yard box, slips the ball across. And that one's off the post and in. Lobjoit with his second. 
And on 62 minutes, it's Hales Owen 1, Bedford 3. Played through towards Blake this time. Cassidy for company. Blake, look at the back post as Willicott's making the run through. Blake might go on his own here inside the penalty area. Cassidy slipping over. Blake, it's four. And that is it really now. Went on his own, Blake. Cassidy went down to the ground to a breakaway.
Good towel.
Well, it's been nothing short of an amazing start in step four for Real Bedford. Two games, six scored and zero conceded. It's not the average form of newcomers in any given league, especially not one this competitive. But it's only going to get more competitive for the Pirates today as they welcome Wellwyn Garden City, who, unlike Hartford and Barton Rovers, finished in the top half of the division last season. So today is another useful test to hopefully accurately surmise well their stand this season. Evans. A beautiful ball through Setchell. Josh Setchell standing up, Corwin. Gallifer is over the line. Welcome to Real Bedford, Isaac Gallifer. His first home start in the league, and he's got a goal along with it. They all count. What say Taiwo? Reaching that byline, putting it back. Watkins! Oh, yes! The captain with the equaliser. Down. Could we be seeing a repeat here? Bradley Watkins to get them underway. Stevenson, 
got the header! Out of nowhere! Well in in front. And that's that's no comment on that. Yes, 
Go on, give it. Uh, See you out, later. Go on. Finish! Finish! Thank <laughs> you.